Well, uh, I would start saying that uh, we have to understand that these interconnections that we are building, uh, either uh, interconnections in for uh, gases or interconnections for electric energy, are essentially the building blocks of the creation of a more unified uh, energy market. Uh, there can be no energy market that is unified unless we have these interconnections. Now, within Europe, this is not just uh, something that we are uh, nice to have. It's uh, an absolute necessity for the European economic uh, uh, space to be a unified economic space, as it is supposed to be. Without interconnections, there is a major flaw uh, in uh, the European uh, uh, in the European economic uh, uh, zone, and uh, this has been, uh, uh, in fact, a major flaw in the way uh, the European economic policy functions. Now, uh, the, the second difficulty that we have with these interconnections is that they are very long-term investments. An interconnection will last far longer than the actual uh, uh, period that the private uh, enterprise that uh, undertakes it will uh, uh, take its money back. And this is a problem with energy in general, but in, in interconnections, it's even more, it's even more important. An interconnection, uh, let's say, an electrical cable, uh, can last uh, 50 years, uh, while its uh, payout period can be 20 or 25. This is a major market deficiency. That's why uh, we have to be uh, present as a state. To, to promote these interconnections and help these interconnections uh, be realized. And uh, this also, uh, uh, and this adds, this, these are the economic arguments. Now, we have to add also the geopolitical arguments. We are living in an era where uh, things that we considered uh, as self-evident no longer stand. Peace in Europe is no longer self-evident. Uh, international trade is no longer self-evident. Uh, security in the seas is no longer self-evident. You see what happens uh, in uh, the Red Sea. You see what happened in Ukraine. Uh, you see what happens between the big uh, international play, players in terms of trade and tariffs. So uh, in, in this era, energy security is much more uh, important. And energy security for us will be created and is created by uh, a huge amounts of renewables that we are developing. Because renewables, after you develop them, absolutely belong to you. Nobody can take them. In fact, they are even, they're much more robust in terms of even, uh, 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 as we've seen in Ukraine, of even someone that would like to, to destroy them. Uh, and they have no fuel. The fuel comes uh, from the sun in one way uh, or, or another, excluding geothermal. Geothermal, not necessarily. Uh, it can be from the previous sun. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, 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 what, uh, what, uh, what we have to, to realize is that building this new infrastructure that will give us full energy security, we need both for economic reasons and for geopolitical reasons, we need both fast development of renewables, we are one of the first in the world there, and fast development of interconnections. And I believe in the last five years, we also are one of the major players, 
even longer uh, in developing interconnections. Thus, we can only consider ourselves a positive force in this energy security, uh, from the energy security aspect.